also check it out guys, we're back with a brand new episode on the channel. My name is of course General Tony and welcome my friends to what is going to be the end of 50 million in upgrades in a couple of seconds. Before we do anything guys, in this episode, we need to break into the core of this base and steal every single penny of this dude's loot so we can return home and finish off 50 million in upgrades here in the episode. So what we're using is a quad earthquake. We don't really need all four Earthquake spells, to be honest, because we've got these uh, Super Wall Breakers. But we're going to break into the core anyway, and we're going to see if we can take down this dude, maybe for a potential triple star. Now, a couple of seconds ago, we just got the Grand Warden back, who is actually upgrading to level 22. So now we've got all four heroes. It should be a bit easier to three-star these bases once again. I'm going to drop the Queen in down the bottom. The Baby Dragon's going to funnel. Or maybe not. And I'm trying to get the queen to push up this side of the base, guys. So we can get the rest of the troops in over here to make a funnel. Let's go with the double balloon. Try to take down the archer tower and we'll see where we go from there, guys. Here we go. Queen is heading down the right way. Now, just as this is going on, I do want to remind you all, I will be giving away some gold passes later on today here on the YouTube channel. So make sure you are subscribing, and remember, every 1,500 likes the video gets, guys, I will give away an extra gold pass in the next episode. So let's rock and roll. We're ready to rumble straight into the center of the base. I'm going to go with the Warden, drop down those Max Yetis, guys. Now, I think we need about 750,000 gold. If we can get that much gold, it means we're going to be able to do the upgrade, guys. And we will be able to complete 50 million in upgrades here in the episode, which is absolutely amazing. I'm going to go with a real champion shield right at the top. And we're going to now crush the core of this base with, of course, the rest of our troops. The King, the Yetis, everything storming into the center. Can we take out the majority of these gold storages? Let's find out, guys. We've got ourselves the first star. I don't think we're going to be getting a second star. And it looks like we're only going to be getting about half the gold. So I'm not sure if that's actually going to be enough to do this major, major upgrade, guys. The Queen is going to swing around the top. The Warden's going to take out the Clan Castle. Queen is still going, guys, all the way up the top of the base. Obviously, she did end up going the wrong way, which kind of sucks. Because that means we weren't able to take down those gold storages in the center. Hopefully, we can grab the Dark Elixir Drill. And maybe one more gold storage. But it looks like it's the end of the road, guys. We're running out of time anyway. Let's end the raid there and see what we got. Okay, 455,000 gold. Unfortunately, I don't actually think that's enough, guys. Because we need 10.8 million gold. And we've only got 10.448 million. So we're a tiny bit short. We're going to need to get ourselves into another live attack. I'm actually going to quick train up this army, guys. And we're about to unlock some really cool prizes very, very shortly as we complete some more Gold Pass challenges here on the YouTube channel. But take a look at this. We've already upgraded a Triple Expo. All three going to the next level, guys. And there is only one remaining to upgrade to level 6 for 10.2 million gold. Now, obviously, we've got the Gold Pass active. But without the Gold Pass... Each one of these Expos is like 13 or 14 million, but the Gold Pass gives us a massive, massive discount. And you know what? I actually just realized, I'm 90% sure, guys, that that said 10.8 million an hour ago, and now it says 10.2 million. Maybe it's because we unlocked some more prizes in the Gold Pass, and it gave me even more of a discount, so we can actually upgrade it. That's kind of weird. I didn't even realize we could do that. So let's upgrade the Expo. That means all four Expos are now going to max level. And I believe we've also got to build a potion. So we're going to activate that, guys. And that's going to give us a boost for the next one hour, which is 10x speed. And we have got ourselves a single builder free. And I think we might actually upgrade the Warden straight to level 23, guys. That could be... That could be a really great upgrade. So let's see if we can get that done. 
think we're all out of CWL points, or we've got a small amount, but I don't really want to waste them. We've only got 63. Now, I could buy some more Builder Potions, or I could buy 10 War Rings, but I'm not sure, guys. Let me know down below in that comment section, what should I spend my CWL points on? For now, what we're going to do... We're straight up going to get ourselves into the next live attack. I'm just going to wait like 20 seconds so I can reboost all my heroes, guys. And then we are going to gem up the entire army. I just boosted the actual Super Wall Breakers for another 7 days. So that means I don't need to spend any Dark Elixir. And we can save all the Dark Elixir to upgrade the King Queen and, of course, that Royal Champion to max level over the next week, which is awesome. So... One second left until the boost ends. Let's reboost everything inside of the base, including the Grand Warden, who has only just returned. And we're also going to reboost the barracks. And I think the spell factories have got a boost for another 15 minutes. So they're going to keep themselves clocking over. We're going to re gem the heroes. And we are ready, guys. All we need to upgrade the Grand Warden again is another. 1.6 or 7 million elixir. Now that should only take like two raids to find that type of loot, guys. Here inside of the Champions League, you saw the first base was amazing, but I'm not kidding. If you search for like five minutes, you can literally find over a million gold and elixir nearly every single time you attack. So let's see if we can find one of these notorious Massive fat juicy loot raids and uh, we'll see if we can take it down for a triple. Here we go. Oh Wow This dude's got like 1.7 million exactly 1 million seven hundred and two thousand gold and elixir and he's got six thousand dark elixir Only problem is it does look like a, a high level base compared to me but if we manage to take out the Town Hall and save the Warden's ability for when all the troops break into the center, we could do some serious damage to this dude's base. So let's start with our Queen Walk down the bottom. Super Wall Breakers are going to start to run on in. And I just need to make sure my Queen survives, guys, the initial onslaught of these point defenses. We've already taken out a Cannon, an Archer Tower, and I think a Tesla Tower. And that means the Queen is pretty much free. To wreck this side of the base all on our own. I'm actually going to get a giant and a double balloon to take down that archer tower. I'm going to drop in a rage spell as my queen takes out the defending queen. And now we're going to start cycling in with the troops towards the top of the base, guys. All the wizards to make sure that funnel is secured. And we're going to drop the royal champion straight into the center. Activate her ability pretty damn instantly. And we're going to go with a free spell. Poison over the CC. Let's see what happens. I've already lost the queen. So it's not looking too great to be honest. There goes the king's ability. But we do have a lot of troops pouring in. And we've got the Grand Warden's ability which I'm going to activate. As we slowly start to take out this town hall guys. It actually looks like it's going to go down which is amazing. Now we just need to try and take out the rest of these storages in the core. And to be honest with you, considering this was a really high level base, we've actually done a lot of damage. Almost up to 60%, which is pretty damn awesome. And we've still got about 350,000 elixir on the map. So although we didn't manage to grab all the elixir, we've still done a lot of damage, guys. And it looks like we're just about going to reach maybe 7.8 million before the minion gets slaughtered, there it goes, guys. In total, 506,000 more elixir plus a 178 bonus. 649,000 gold. That's actually not too bad at all, guys. Okay. So because I've already dropped that builder potion, I think I've only got one builder potion active, but I think I saw there is another builder potion right there, which we're going to be getting... Probably in the next 10 20 minutes guys because we are going to be completing a lot of these challenges specifically the supercharge and the elixir storage raid those are going to be completed very shortly so what i want to do i want to try and get rid of this builder on a really cheap upgrade guys what is the cheapest upgrade in the base let's see what about these upgrade to level two for 600 
and 37,000. Oh no, wait, that's only 63,750 gold. So that's really cheap. Let's upgrade that, guys. Five hours on the upgrade, four expos, going to the next level, one little bomb. And I think in the next video, guys, if we manage to farm up enough loot, I might drop the book of building and upgrade the expo automatically to the next level so we can free up another builder. For now, my friends, we're going to be ending this episode here. There is going to be a double upload today, so make sure you keep your eyes peeled. Turn on those notifications. First come, first serve to win the gold passes I will be giving away later on today.